saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my favorite fashion trends for spring. I've missed the past few seasons of these kind of trend videos just because we've not been going anywhere. In the UK, we've been in a very long lockdown and we're just opening back up now. So I have skipped the past few seasons, but I am more excited than ever to talk about all the amazing fashion trends for spring, summer. So as usual, this isn't supposed to be a comprehensive list of every single trend out there. I really just kind of chosen my favorite trends and how I'm incorporating them into my wardrobe. I always think that's the best thing to do when it comes to trends, that is to pick and choose from what's out there because then you're much more likely to end up with something that you'll not only love for that season, but also hopefully many seasons and many years beyond that. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being part sponsored by Lily Silk, who I have worked with a couple of times before now. If you miss those videos though, and you're not familiar with who Lily Silk are, they're essentially an online store that specializes in silk items. And they do everything from silk bedding right through to silk clothing and fashion items. It's what I use for my pillowcase now. So my pillowcase, and I think it's going on two years, is from Lily Silk. I swear by silk pillowcases. They are amazing for your hair, especially if you're concerned about hair breakage would definitely recommend and theirs are incredible quality. They also do so many beautiful silk clothing items. I am sharing a few pieces here today and you can get 15% off the entire store with my discount code. I think it's Amy15 but I will double check that and pop it on screen. Definitely worth a look if you're a fan of silk items like I am. So the first trend that I'm most excited about are polka dots. And I'm not sure if I will this into existence every year because I love polka dots and I swear every single spring I just see them everywhere but I'm definitely not complaining. I just cannot get enough of this print. So I have a few different pieces here, um, tops and skirts, a little bit of everything. These two skirts are from Lily Silk. They are slightly different. So the first one is actually one from last year. So this isn't new to my wardrobe but I love it. It is a wrap skirt and it is 100% silk but it's not that kind of traditional silky feeling so it is a little bit more matte I guess that's probably not a good way to describe it but really wearable and completely crease proof which I love I hate creases in skirts so this is an absolute must and this one I just absolutely love this year and I'm so excited to not only be bringing it back but also it being right on trend for this year just go show that so many trends do repeat like year after year really cute it is just a simple black wrap skirt with this beautiful kind of it's like a beige, but it has like a hint of metallic in the polka dots. Really, really beautiful and elegant. And then the new polka dot skirt that I got from them is this gorgeous bias cut skirt. And I feel like this is kind of combining two different trends. Bias cut skirts have been all the rage recently. And then you also do have the polka dots as well. This one is just in black and the polka dot is slightly lighter. So it's more like a kind of ivory gold kind of color. Really, really lovely though. Really nice quality again. This one is a kind of full on silky silk if that makes sense. It is lined as well partially. So it is fully opaque, has the most gorgeous swish and it is honestly so nice. The fabric is stunning and I just cannot get enough of these skirts. So absolutely adore these. And then I also have this top that I wore the other day in a video. This is just one from Nordstrom and I love it. It is just a simple v-neck, not an overly low v-neck. And you have these adorable sleeves with a bow. I've really been getting into my sleeve detail. I think it's such a fun way to dress up a top. It's been a very kind of top heavy year with, you know, Zoom and obviously the pandemic. So any kind of detail that makes a top a little bit different, I am all about still. And this is just a very classic kind of black top with a white polka dot so cute the polka dots are a little bit larger and um, I just think this is so fun really nice on zoom calls but also really cute if you were actually going to go out and wear some jeans just a really really lovely one 
And then finally, I have this mini dress that I got from ASOS. This is a bit more of a cheap and cheerful one. I think it was only 15 pounds, so really inexpensive. But I thought this was really cute, really nice for very, very hot summer days because it is quite a thin material. So definitely not a heavyweight one. But I also thought you could dress it up with a blazer or a biker jacket if you wanted to. Just really nice and a really cute layering piece for when it is still not that warm, but you wanna wear something very summery. Next up is just an entire category of silk items and I think there is definitely more and more and I, I think it's been a gradual shift but especially kind of with everything that's happened in the last year, definitely a shift towards trends which aren't gonna go away after one season, you know, really investments into your wardrobe, things that you're gonna be able to get a lot of use out of for many years to come. And especially because of what happened in the last year, you know, I know I was still looking at bad trends and things like that, and I really didn't want to get anything which I thought might have a short shelf life because, and I still don't know like when things are gonna get back to normal, so I don't wanna be buying something and then, you know, the trend is over before we're actually allowed out again. So I do think there's a really heavy emphasis now on just beautiful classic pieces which are going to stand the test of time. I think silk is such a great example of that. Um, so I have three pieces here, two of which are blouses. I love their blouses. They are really, really beautiful quality. So the first one is this gorgeous French blue shirt. This is a very close match to my Chanel mini, which is one of the reasons why I picked it. I thought it was so gorgeous. Their silk shirts are just so stunning. They're really easy to slip on, but they just look so elegant. A little bit easier to wear than kind of a stiff cotton shirt as well. You know, they're a bit more feminine, a bit easier to dress up. And then you do have these concealed buttons. The fabric is lovely, and this color is the perfect periwinkle blue. It is so unbelievably stunning. I always like to roll my sleeves up, but obviously you can have them down if you want to. I just always feel like a three quarter length sleeve is just a little bit more elegant and easy to wear and flattering. And I think this one is absolutely lovely. Huge fan of their blouses. They do wash and wear well as well. And I just think this one is gorgeous. The next one is this black one, and this one is a little bit more of an oversized fit. I actually wore this the other day, which is why it already has its sleeves rolled up, but I love the fit of this. The other one is a bit more of like a close fit, um, so that would be great with skirts, but also good with jeans, whereas this one is more of a kind of, you know, skinny jean, legging kind of shirt, but it is so lovely. It does have the pocket there, so it's just a little bit more relaxed, but again, at the same time, still really elegant. The fit is really nice. It has just the right amount of kind of looseness, without being so large that you completely lose your shape in it. The fabric is gorgeous as well. It's just really soft to the touch silk and these are just such beautiful blouses. So always a fan of a good silk blouse and these are just some beautiful ones. And then finally, I do have a little bit more of a va va -voom pick, but it is this stunning red dress. This is going to be for our first kind of proper date night out. We're not sure when we're gonna do it because we do wanna wait to get vaccinated and I'm not fully sure what the timeline on that is. Uh, I know my mum's getting her second one in May, but I'm not sure when our kind of age bracket is allowed, but as soon as we are vaccinated, we're gonna book a restaurant and we are going to get really dressed up. And this is going to be my outfit because it is stunning. The most beautiful deep shade of red. It is so, so beautiful. It is a wrap dress. It fits amazingly. There's a fair a bit of adjustment as well because the straps are adjustable. So you can get a really nice fit, which I really like. The material is incredible. It is so soft. It just kind of glides over your body. It just feels like the most luxurious dress ever. It is so, so lovely. I think this comes in a few different colors. I think there was a black and a few others. I wanted to go for the red. I just wanted kind of a showstopper dress. And I thought this was beautiful. So, so excited to wear this. So excited to go out again and just get properly dressed up. The next trend is one that I'm just seeing everywhere at the moment, and I have two trends which are kind of linked together, but I am separating them out because I do think they're slightly different. Um, so this one is tiered skirts, and tiered skirts can come in a variety of lengths, but usually they are more on the longer side, so kind of like a midi length, and I am just seeing these everywhere. I feel like every brand is doing them, every designer is doing them, 
and I'm very happy about it because I love a good tiered skirt, especially if it is a longer length. I think it just adds a level of drama that you don't always get with spring summer clothing, you know? Usually when the weather gets warmer, clothes get a bit smaller, a bit lighter, whereas I love the fact that these are still light and breezy enough to wear during the warmer months. But you just have a little bit more something in terms of the impact it makes. So I have a three here and I don't think this is going to be the last of tiered skirts in my wardrobe, um, but I did get this black one from Abercrombie. I love it. I feel like Abercrombie are just nailing it at the moment. I'm loving so much of what they do. I'm always on their new releases and new arrivals because there's just always so much good stuff. So this one is just a very simple black tiered skirt. There is a lining, but it's only kind of partial, so partially way down. And it does just have three tiers. And apart from that, just a really simple black one, really easy to dress up or down, really cute with sandals, also really nice with heels. You can pop on a belt if you want to. If you wanted to have more of a color block effect, you could pair it with a black top. Just so many different options, a really nice simple piece, which is really affordable as well. Next up is a white one, and as always, it is super bright on camera, so I will do a quick cutaway. Um, but I recently got this from my Teresa, and I love it. This one definitely has a bit more drama than the others. It has a lot of volume, and there's just like a lot of fabric to go around. It's super fun to wear, though. Like, it's so, so great. It is fully lined. It's also completely opaque, so good, even if you wanted to wear black underwear or black top. And it being a crisp white as well, it just feels so ready for summer picnics, and I just love it. It. And then finally for tiered skirts, I do have this kind of olive green version. This one is from French Connection and it's a really nice combination of the kind of tiered effect whilst also being very swishy and very flowy. The other ones are a little bit more structured so you do get that volume. Whereas this one, it has the length but it has more swish. So it does kind of move and flow a little bit more when you walk. I believe this is also stocked on Nordstrom and I think they come in a few different colors. A really nice black one, I actually wanted the black one but I couldn't find it in the UK. Um, but I like the olive green one too. Really cute, it has buttons all the way down and then it has three tiers again and then just buttons up at the waist but you do have an elasticated back so you can get a really nice fit. Really cute and I am just all about this trend. Love tiered skirts, love how feminine they are and just how easy they are as well, you know, just slip one on add a simple top or bodysuit and you just don't have to fuss and it instantly feels very, very poor together and of course very on trend as well. The next trend is an accessory one and I don't usually include bags in these kind of videos but this is such a big one and one that I love so much that I thought I would just pop it in here and it is white bags and this is a trend that I am definitely going hard on. I love it. So many of you will have seen my Chanel reveal video and I probably should have thought about including white bags in this video with this ring light. I will do cutaways so you don't have to see this glare um, but I am over the moon excited with this bag. So, so beautiful. I want a white Chanel for a really long time. Slightly terrified about the upkeep of it. Um, I did ask on Instagram for any tips and I mostly just got really scared about the responses. Um, so I'm gonna do some research and I will update you guys about what I find. Um, I'm gonna try a few different things. I do have some white bags, they've done okay, so I am hopeful, um, but yeah, super excited about this trend in general. I do think that white bags just are so crisp and make any outfit kind of pop, and it's just so classic and lovely and instantly freshens up an outfit, so. Very excited about this and super excited about this bag. And then for another style, which is still very much on the luxury side, but not quite as bonkers, crazy expensive as the Chanel, is this Saint Laurent wristlet. And I've actually had this a little while, but I don't think I've spoken about it on my channel before. So I did get a white wristlet in the same style as my black one. And I ended up having to exchange that because there was something wrong with the stitching. And I tried to exchange it for the exact same one, but they ended up sending me a cream one. And I didn't want cream, I wanted white. Um, so I had to return it and they basically told me to wait until the other one came in stock. And then I saw this one and I thought it was gorgeous and a slightly different alternative to my black one. So I decided just to opt for this instead. And it's basically the same wristlet design, but in that kind of envelope bag style. So just a little bit different, really beautiful. You do have the YSL logo on the front in the gold. You have that great wristlet and then it just opens up and you have that gorgeous quilting as well. Again, in the grain leather, so super durable, 
fairly roomy, obviously a very small bag, and it's essentially a clutch bag, but definitely still functional, a lot cheaper than their regular clutches as well. And I love the look of this. So I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I was gutted when I had to return my other one, um, but I absolutely love this. And I love how crisp it is. And I do also think that even though this is still a very, very luxury item, it's a bit less scary than something like a Chanel Classic Flap. From my experience of Saint Laurent leather, I do think this is going to wear really well. They do just tend to be white clean, and I just think this is gorgeous and just so ready for all the summer outfits. And my next trend is gingham, and this is another one which I just loved a bit. Gingham is one of those patterns that, again, it just seems to come back year after year. I very much put in the same category as florals and polka dots in that. Yes, they kind of come in and out of fashion in terms of really, really popular trend items, but they're also never out of fashion. So it's always such a safe bet. I love a gingham. I love kind of classic light blue gingham. I like navy gingham. I like pretty much all gingham. If you follow all my videos, you'll probably recognize all these because I think I have spoken about them all before. Um, but as you see, there's just a lot of gingham happening in my life. Could not be happy about it. So first up is this beautiful Polo Ralph Lauren skirt. Not what I typically expect from Polo Ralph Lauren, um, but they do do kind of proper more, I guess, fashiony items as well as their more leisure wear. And this is beautiful. It is linen, but it's not super kind of crease heavy. Really beautiful, a lovely shade of blue as well. So it's just a classic blue and white gingham has pockets, which is always a massive bonus for me, and just has pockets all the way down and then ties at the waist. Super cute, very fun to wear, and just a screaming out of kind of summer entertaining. Absolutely love this. For a slightly cheaper alternative, I do have this skirt from Abercrombie, and this kind of hits two trends, so it is the tiered skirt and also is gingham as well. This is the same style as the black one. I loved it so much that I got the gingham one as well. Really lovely fit. Again, it is kind of fitted the waist, but it does have an elasticated waistband, so really nice for a close fit. And it is just a kind of dark navy gingham against white. Three tiers, just very easy to wear, really cute. There's also a crop top as well. If you wanted to do a two piece, I know that's very on trend also. Has those great pockets, just a really nice lightweight one, which again, doesn't cost the earth. And then finally, for my last trend, it is cottage core. And I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but I am seeing it everywhere. And from what I understand, it's essentially those kind of Little House on the Prairie-esque dresses, usually in a floral print, and it's usually like a midi length of flowy dress. Really, really cute, um, but I do also think that the trend kind of extends to other elements of fashion as well. So you have the puff sleeves, you have the kind of tiered prairie dresses. So they don't always have to be in a floral print, but there's definitely a kind of prairie vibe going on. Um, I have tried a few different floral versions of those dresses and straight up, I looked hideous in all of them. Like I just, not a style I can pull off. I felt like I was dressing up for a play. So those were swift returns, they were not cute. Um, I do have two pieces here. Um, one I got a while ago and I do think it kind of hits the trend in a much more wearable way. The other one is a bit more literal, but I think I'm gonna return it because again, I don't think I can pull it off, but you guys let me know what you think. Um, the slightly more wearable option is this top. Um, I mentioned it before, but I love this thing. It's so cute. So this is just the puff sleeve trend. So again, only really doing the trend in a very minor way, but I still feel like it does look of the moment and I love it. It has a little D-ring at the neckline, really cute. It has a little peplum hem as well fitted throughout the body and then does have some stretch on the back. But the star of the show are just these adorable sleeves. I love the way this looks. Really cute with skirt, really great with jeans as well. Just a really versatile one, which again, feels kind of on trend, but it's not so crazy out there that it's gonna be out of style within a few months. And now for the dress, which I'm fairly sure it's going to be returned because again, I just don't think I can pull this off. Um, I tried the blue version of this and um, it was very much a Cinderella dress, very, very fun, but it kind of reminded me a bit too much of Rachel from Friends' bridesmaid dress, if anyone remembers that. It wasn't in pink, but it's like, it's quite a big dress. So I liked it in theory, so I was like, I'm gonna try it in the black because it's just gonna tone it down a bit. Um, but I still think this might be a bit too much. It does have the puff sleeves. It has the kind of neckline going on with the little ruffle details. It has the really long length and then multiple tiers as well. 
double lined, it has volume, hits all the trends. I think it's a nice one if this is your kind of style, um, but again, I think it's just a bit too frilly and girly and it's a bit much. And I just know if I go downstairs in this like and show Dan, he's gonna laugh at me, which is not really why I aim for with my fashion, so. An option if this happens to be your style, I do like it, um, but I also really believe in clothing being wearable and trends being something which you can envision in your wardrobe for multiple seasons and years, and I don't think this one is it. So very happy with the top, um, but I do think that the dress is a return. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I will try to remember to include sizes as well. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment and let me know what trend you're most excited about for spring, summer, either from my list or from the kind of general wider world. Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear about it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.